there are a lot of misconceptions surrounding dairy farming. Now, this isn't about pointing fingers, but certain groups of certain people, <coughs> vegans, excuse me, have made it their mission to spread harmful lies about dairy, threatening the livelihood of hardworking farmers. So if you want to survive in today's kill or be subjected to the aggressive, sanctimonious whinging of animal activists surpassed in grating annoyance only by utter inaccuracy to the point where you pray they renounce veganism just so you can be killed world, listen up. Hey there, modern dairy queen. You work long, hard hours to feed your family and families all across this great nation with wholesome, quality nutrition pumped from the nipples of a 1,300-pound mammal by sterilized machinery into a metal storage vat, transferred to a tanker truck, driven to a factory, tested for all sorts of strange, pasteurized, homogenized, separated, processed, packaged, shelved, purchased, and drunk up by kids everywhere, just like nature intended. So you don't have time for any of these anti-dairy propaganda-wielding wingnuts trying to give honest, hard-working people like you a bad name. That's why today we're going to learn how to answer these ungrounded activist accusations head-on. Show them you've got nothing to hide by telling the truth, the whole truth, and something but the truth. Let's jump right in and start with the most controversial dairy industry practice, the removal of dairy calves from their mothers. This thoughtful and loving act is unjustly warped into emotionally manipulative rhetoric of mother cows grieving for their babies who are kidnapped in order to steal their milk. That's where the brilliance of this approach shines. Who better to put these concerns to rest than actual mothers? Hi, I'm Laurie Spar with Spar Jersey Farm. I live here with my husband Brian and our two daughters. To dispel any talk of industry insider propaganda, bring in an outsider to ask the really tough questions. My name is Liz Fores and I blog at lovegrowswild.com. Now throw in some inspiring music and sweeping visual shots. That's just f beautiful. Now it's time to get serious and tackle these absurd lies head on. I noticed that I don't see any babies around here. Where yeah, are the calves yeah, at? That That's right. Show how eager you are to share the truth by not even letting that b finish her thought. That's a good question. All of the cows in this barn are girls and um, only girls can make milk. So girls are what keep our business rolling. Some constructive criticism Maybe try to sound less like you're running a house of ill repute. And it's quite a bold move to bring up the whole male-female thing. Best to gloss over any questions about how an all-girl herd keeps getting knocked up. Don't want to open the door for ridiculous rape accusations from activists taking forced vaginal and anal penetration out of context. And any troubling questions about where the baby boys go. And um, people always ask, well, where are your babies? Quick tip. If you have any inkling of maternal instincts, be sure to put those on hold for the time being. And if you're nervous, just remember, you're telling people to do something they already want to do. Eat ice cream, cheese, milk, yogurt. It's not about convincing them. It's about giving them peace of mind to keep doing what they want to do anyways. Honestly, it doesn't even have to make sense. You can even try tossing out completely irrelevant statements like their commendable acts. We do birth our own babies here so that the calves are delivered on site. Nailed it. And now for the true brilliance. Not only own up to removing calves, but show how this so-called kidnapping is really an act of compassion from a caring mother. I mean, you're pretty much a goddamn bovine Mother Teresa. And it's actually safer to move them to a different facility so that they don't get stepped on, they don't get sat on, because these are large animals and when they flop down, sometimes they're not really looking where they're gonna sit. Brilliant. See, you're not tearing families apart, no, you're saving lives. Never mind that you're the one actually confining these cows in an unnaturally crowded environment and then using that to justify taking their babies away. Most people won't take the time to think that through. They just want to be able to down a pint of Haagen-Dazs in peace. 
Now, if you're getting crap for keeping your cows inside, just offer another straightforward response. Do the cows have a chance to go out to pasture at all, or you said they're all well, inside? What happens is, just like the human cycle when a woman is nursing, they dry them up, which means they just stop milking them. That's exactly like how humans nurse. And then they have a little vacation, and they do hang out in the pasture, and they sort of just um, take some time off. See, dairy farms aren't slave labor camps like those activists would have you think. They're f five star spa resorts. Now, illustrate how your ironclad logic has won over the skeptical outsider. So it's for their own benefit. It really to is. To take them and, and put them in their it own really, separate area. Absolutely. Fantastic. Now, even though you've already won, why not go the extra mile and finish strong? You can keep them in an environment that's very clean and uh, make sure that they're being cared for the way they should be. Before anyone has a chance to question why taking a baby away from their mother is the way it should be, just shut that shit down. Now that you have mothers endorsing this whole practice, feel free to bring in the big guns for reinforcement. Make sure to toss in how dangerous mothers and babies are to one another. The biggest advantage to individual rooms and hutches for calves is it prevents disease transmission. We have known for a long time that calves and heifers that are raised separately from the adult herd have less disease. Wow, it's a wonder how any animal reproduced before you intervened. And if anyone tries to point out that issues of cleanliness could arise from the conditions and stressors on the cows, just nip that shit in the bud. Feel free to go bold like this dairy blogger's expert answer to a beef farmer's wife whose instincts told her that it was cruel to separate a mother cow and her calf. Oh, what you poor dairy farmers have to deal with. Even other people in the industry think you're f***ing monsters. Cows are all too well known for their willingness to lay in manure, even when clean bedding is available. Any manure or bacteria on a cow's udder would be ingested by the calf when it tried to drink. What f***ing filthy animals. Don't forget to still assure any skeptical mothers out there by identifying with their experience. Just like baby infants are removed and put in a nursery right at birth, we kind of do the same thing with baby calves for their health. Of course, human mothers get their babies back, but don't get lost in the minutia. Instead, show how good these calves have it. In the summertime, when it's really warm out, a hutch is really nice because they have a little outside area in front of the hutch, kind of like a patio where they can go out and they have fresh air and sunlight. See, I'd take a luxury condo over a maternal bond any day. In the winter time, they're protected from the wind in that hutch, deep straw bedding, and we also put what's called a calf coat on them or a calf blanket to keep them warm. Because who needs the warmth of a mother's embrace when you've got some straw in a blanket? And then at a certain age, they're grouped according to age. Much like school children are, we're grouped according to our age and with our pen mates. You know how it was in school hanging out with your peers, eating lunch through metal bars, going through the rite of passage into womanhood of losing your virginity to a gloved appendage, <sighs> brings me back. Before we close out, let's go over a few don'ts to keep in mind. Never show calves actually being taken from their mothers or the mother's reaction. <coughs> If you've leaned heavily on the whole cows make horrible mothers approach, do not show them defending their young. Sanctuary realized Clarabelle had given birth in secret and hid her calf so well in the tall grass, it took workers a while to find her. Hey! Because every baby she'd ever had had been taken away from her by the dairy farmers. Clarabelle assumed her new humans would do the same. Definitely don't mention how dairy cows' bodies give out almost two decades prior to their natural lifespan. That doesn't go over too well. And whatever you do, never, ever say anything about where the male calves go. I mean, like, literally don't even mention their existence. Don't watch, don't watch that. Hope you enjoyed this instructional video. Don't let manipulative vegan propaganda soil your good name. 
give the video a thumbs up and uh, share it around to spread the truth about the wonders of dairy. If you want to support future myth-busting videos, see the support links in the description below, but just ignore the other links down there. They are total lies. Or see the link in the sidebar. Now go fly your dairy flag high and proud. Just, just go. Just don't even, don't even look over there. Just go. Go eat your ice cream. The mother said it was okay.